Well, tonight, tributes continue to pour in for former First Lady Nancy Reagan. And as you can see at the White House, the flag is flying at half staff in her honor. Ms. Reagan died Sunday at the age of 94. Mark Meredith takes a look at her legacy that will be felt for generations to come. A proud First Lady, loving wife, and advocate for Alzheimer's research, Nancy Reagan leaves behind a legacy unlike any other. How will you remember Nancy Reagan? I will remember her as always being extremely supportive to her husband. End of an era, more or less, because, uh, you know, Reagan's legacy and so on. At the White House today, President Obama speaking kindly of a woman who knew all too well the pains and pressures of the West Wing. I could not have been more gracious and more charming to myself and Michelle when we first came into office. At the American History Smithsonian, the Reagan's legacy from close to China, experts like Lisa Kathleen Grady say, offer a glimpse into the Reagan revolution. Nancy Reagan approached this job as Nancy Reagan approached everything in her life in a very head-on, forthright kind of way. While often described as guarded and overly protective of her husband, Mrs. Reagan lived in constant fear for the president's safety, especially after the 1981 assassination attempt on his life. The fact that she was this amazing, calm face for two terms after that speaks wonders to the self-discipline that she must have had. After her husband's death in 2004, Nancy Reagan stayed out of the spotlight. But thanks to programs like her anti-drug campaign, Just Say No, and countless others, Americans won't soon forget her impact. I, I just know there's so many programs that she really got the chance to bring to light that a lot of people didn't know about, so I guess that would be it. American flags, whether they be at the White House or federal buildings around the globe, will remain at half staff until Mrs. Reagan is buried. Her funeral will be happening soon at the Reagan Presidential Library in California. Reporting from the White House, I'm Mark Meredith. Mrs. Reagan's funeral will be held Friday afternoon, and she'll be buried at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley, California, next to her husband. We have no